Welcome back. The sky looks a bit eerie out there, but thankfully our severe weather threat for North Central North Dakota um, pretty much non-existent, but we will have more showers and storms after midnight. But for now, it's chilly out there, 58 degrees in the Magic City, and much of the activity remains well to our south and west, where you can see some of those darker clouds in the distance. So some light rain for us, still some light rain for Stanley, but as you go into the Turtle Mountain region and into Rugby, drier, Bit on the cloudier side, but all of us are in the 50s for the time being. So just some light rain around the Magic City, but as you head to Stanley, the worst over for you as far as you just had mostly rain. Same for Newtown, but you'll notice a pretty hefty sail that pushed through Mandarin, non-severe, but that's going to make its way into western uh, McLean County eventually. But for the time being, mainly stable, or, or I should say, more settled weather across uh, far north central North Dakota than we're seeing out west. Watford City, you've got another storm over Alexander that will be approaching you in a little bit. But the worst over for Mandaree, that storm likely going to be heading closer to White Shield. But where we have the real rough weather, severe thunderstorms to the south of Glendive, Montana. This severe thunderstorm likely going to miss Beach, but Gulva um, residents there may have to be on the lookout for the potential for hail and gusty wind. And on top of that, residents in Amadon, um, North Dakota, in the, across the southwest, severe thunderstorm heading to your um, to your neck of the woods from the west, heading practically due east. Um, there is a likelihood of hail with that storm system as well, in addition to some gusty wind. But where's the severe weather threat going to be for the rest of the evening? Um, mainly Montana, Dickinson into Beach, Bowman, and into the Black hills here at home. Um, any thunderstorms we get will be non severe and that's likely going to be later on tonight. So let's put into motion for you. You'll notice um, maybe a few leftover light showers, but Williston another wave could be pushing through them um, by 10 o'clock and eventually that could bring us a round of showers and a few storms across north central North Dakota tonight and into the um, first half of our morning. Afterwards, we start to dry up gradually from west to east. Um, still a bit on the cloudy side, but we'll see a little bit more sunshine peeking out at least late tomorrow afternoon and into the evening. And temperatures are going to be warmer today. We only topped out in the 50s and 60s. Well, tomorrow, um, many of us across the first warm viewing area Area will be topping out at least in the lower 70s, mid 70s possible across the far south. So that's what we are looking at for the time being. So our morning lows mainly going to be in regional forecast in the 50s. Then we're back into the 70s for tomorrow. Remember a bit on the cloudy side to start. So we'll see a little bit more sunshine at least by the second half of the day. So nice chilly for tomorrow, low 70s, but warm weather returns by Thursday. A little bit of wind as well, so keep that in mind, especially as you go into Friday and your weekend.